Howdy folks, it's nut judging time at the Iowa State Fair. The Iowa Nut Growers Association will be cracking and evaluating nut samples submitted in various categories and awarding blue, red, and white ribbons for first, second, and third place. Let's catch the shuttle with all our gear and get down to the Ag Building to get set up. The Ag Building is where all the judging of fruits and vegetables and nuts takes place. It's also where the butter cow and the themed butter sculptures are housed. The theme this year is The Music Man, the Broadway musical written by Mason City native Meredith Wilson. It looks like our help is arriving, so it's time for us to get set up and ready to start cracking. Given the limited time and number of samples, we use the short form for judging hazelnuts, pecans, shagbark hickories, shellbark hickories, butternut, black walnut, Persian walnut, and then an open class of just edible nuts, kind of a catch-all. The work of cracking, separating kernel pieces from shell, and evaluating the quality is a serious job, and goes quickly. The old saying is spot on, many hands make light work. A special thanks to Mary Ellen Miller, Patty Judas, Jeff Jensen, and Sue Boyd for representing the organization and processing the nut samples. We're here at the Iowa State Fair. There's all sorts of judging going on for the ag and hort crops. Uh, we have lots of vegetables. We just finished it up judging the nuts and all of the classes for that. So let's go take a look and see how the winners did. Wow, we would you look at those big, beautiful nuts. And at the end of the day, winners were awarded in all the categories. And the beautiful championship nuts were displayed for all to see. Well, the nut judging is over, and I've got about an hour to take in all the sights and sounds of the Iowa State Fair. What should I do first? Visit Midway and all the rides? Maybe see the animals? Get a cold beer, perhaps? All great ideas, but let's get our priorities straight. First things first, something to eat. And my number one go-to fair food is pork chop on a stick. Look how pretty that is, glistening in the sun. Now that we have some food in our belly, let's take our gear back to the car so we can do a little exploring. A quick trip back up the hill to the horseshoe pits to dump off the cracker, score sheets, and the other stuff, and I'm a free man. What better way to take in the totality of the Iowa State Fair than a quick ride on the Sky Glider, which provides a bird's eye view of the entire grounds of the Iowa State Fair. Plus, it'll drop us right off at Midway where all the rides are. We've arrived at the Midway where all the rides and fair games are located and they have some popular rides back again for 2022. Let's take a quick walk through and relive some memories from our childhood.
Oh, the old one-man band. Wow, that is impressive. Let's make our way back over to the Ag Building and check out the giant pumpkins before continuing on to the sheep, cow, or send pig barns. Holy moly! Can you believe the size of those pumpkins? Absolutely amazing! No trip to the fair would be complete without checking out the livestock. I'll start in the sheep barn, where the sheep show is actually taking place right now. In fact, several livestock shows are taking place today, so trophies and ribbons, they're going to be flying off the shelves. These sheep are getting prepped and primped for the judges. The meticulous grooming is impressive. And this is what it's all about, folks. The chance to show off the sheep you raised to the judge in hopes of taking home a championship trophy. The pig show is also taking place. Let's bop over to the pig barn and see what high-end breakfast sausage will be made from some of these championship animals. Wow, look at this barrel and the hams on him. That is one impressive animal. The pig barn is not far from the horse barn, so let's go look and see if any of the horses are left in the stables. Over by the cattle barn, some of the beef cows are lining up to enter the show ring for one of the shows. While they strut their stuff for the judges, let's take a walk through the cattle barn and see what goes into getting these 1,200 pound beasts looking like Marilyn Monroe. It all starts with keeping the cows cool and comfortable. Big fans keep them cool and fresh bedding keeps them comfortable as they prepare for entering the show ring. Next up is a bath to get good and clean, and you really need to scrub to get out all the dirt that might have accumulated while out on the pasture or in the feedlot. Finally, it's getting all dolled up by your very own hair and makeup artist. Well, maybe not makeup, but certainly getting the hair right and looking pretty. These cattle here have just finished showing off for the judges and are now ready to head back to the cattle barn for some much deserved R&R &R and a little fresh hay. I heard that the giant bull is just up the sidewalk in one of the buildings close by, but before I get to that, I need to wet my whistle with an ice cold beer. Nothing like a cold beer at the Iowa State Fair. That is refreshing. Well, with that out of the way, back to the livestock show. This is Albert, the giant bull, and he is a giant. This is also the building where all the championship livestock are housed, a royal court of sorts. We have some of the championship sheep, chickens, and pigs. Today has been a great day at the Iowa State Fair. I'm going to catch the Sky Glider back to my car, and I'll see you next year.